Hi, I'm Matt Raymond, Team Chiropractor for Garma Sharp Professional Cycling Team. You join us today, we're going to show you a very simple routine you can use on a daily basis if you don't have access to regular massage. Using this simple tool, you can achieve some great results after your ride to try and flush out some of the muscle aches and pains that you get after your ride. Joining us today, we've got Dan Martin Hello. from Garmin Sharp Professional Cycling Team, top 10 cyclists in the world, in the whole world, not ever, just this year, 2013. And Dan is gonna use this simple tool you may have seen in your gyms, foam rollers and the like. This is a type of foam roller, but you can use any foam roller. We use this because it tends to do exactly what we, what we want it to do. It's a very excellent tool made by TP Therapy, Trigger Point Therapy. A lot of our athletes at Garmin Sharp use these tools and they get great results with them. So, Dan, show us, take us through a routine that you might use after you've ridden your bike to just try and flush out the toxins from your legs, clear out some lactic acid. If you don't have access to regular massage, which you do, but if you didn't, how might you use this to, uh, to, to facilitate your recovery? So starting with the lower leg, we can start to flush out the gastroc and soleus and the calf. So what we're doing is he's rolling over the, the, um, the foam roller here, the TP therapy foam roller here, and he's going up two inches and down an inch. And as he does that, he's slowly progressing his way up the leg just to try and flush out some of the lactic acid buildup that you might get after a ride. So you're using the opposite leg here on top of the leg, which provides a bit of extra pressure. So depending on how deep you want to go yourself, as Dan's saying, if he starts with his leg up here, he hasn't got very much pressure on here. As he slides his leg down, he's got more weight of this leg on that leg, so he's going to get a deeper massage of himself. If he wanted to go very lightly, he could just take this leg off and just gently just flush through the leg just like that. So you're going to work his way from down here where the muscle starts right the way up to the top of the calf and that will take you about three or four minutes for each leg. Now you've done the calf, flip over onto your front and we're going to work through the quadriceps muscles which is a large muscle group which sits on the front of the thigh here. So starting just above the kneecap, same thing as before, we're going up two inches and then down an inch and then we're going to go side to side across here just to work through that muscle, flush through the lactic acid in here. And we're slowly working across this large muscle group across the front of the thigh. It'll take about three to four minutes to get through the right leg, three to four minutes to get through the left leg. So in total, you can get the whole of this thing done in about 20 minutes or so. How does that feel? It, it hurts, but I mean, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's definitely doing good, I hope. Definitely doing good. So if you want to get the inside of the leg, from here, what you're going to do is he's going to just turn his pelvis this way and roll on the inside. And now he's going to go back to the bottom, just above the knee, and work on the muscle on the inside of the leg. These are your adductor muscles. So again, two inches up, one inch down, and rolling forwards and backwards, just pivoting over that area. I've got a lot, a lot less weight on the, on the leg there because it's a, a lot more sensitive area. So just got to be careful because it does hurt. Okay. So if you find an area that's particularly tight, it's a good idea to just sit there and just work through that tight muscle because you can often get trigger points in some of these muscles when you, when you work through them. And if you can spend a little bit longer on there, working through those trigger points, you'll really get the benefits afterwards. So again, two inches up, one inch down, he's working his way right the way up, as close as you can get to the inside of his, uh, the top of the inside of his leg there. Okay, so you've worked through the calf, you've worked through the quad, now we're going to come onto the ITB, the outside of the leg. Really tender area in most people. So when you do this, be very gentle. You don't have to put a lot of pressure through it because it can be quite sore. How does that feel? That's okay. Feel Not too bad? It hurts, but it's, yeah, productive. A good pain? Yeah. Okay, so same thing again. Two inches up, one inch down, and a little bit forwards and backwards in this, in this case. Just pivoting over that ITB, which is in the outside of his left leg. So the key with this one is practice because getting into this position and being familiar with this position is not as easy as it looks. He's making this look relatively easy because he does it so frequently. So with this, like anything, practice, practice. And you follow it all the way up until you get right up to where the hip joint, you'll start to feel a bony 
area close towards the top. When you get up towards there, again, same thing, forwards and backwards, and you're just working your way through that muscle in there. This left side here will take about three to four minutes. You can go up to the top, back to the bottom, and back up to the top again. If you find a particularly tight area, stick on it, work through it, and that will start to flush through those trigger points and flush through those, the lactic acid after your ride. It tends to get more tight towards it when you get towards the top as well, so it, uh, pace yourself. Pace yourself. <laughs> Pull up as high as you can, and you're going to alternate for left and right as we go across that five-meter path in here. So, same thing again. Away you go. So, leg up, 